Good afternoon, Chairman Rue and members of the board. My name is Vincent Sarmiento, and I'm the president of the Board of Directors for the Orange County Water District. I'm also a council member with the City of Santa Ana. Joining me today are my colleagues on the board, Director Kathy Green, Director Steve Sheldon, Director Tree Ta, Director Kelly Rowe, and we also have Director Jordan Brandman next to me to my right. Um, also from our staff is uh, General Manager Mike Marcus and our Executive Director of Water Engineering, John Kennedy. The district manages a groundwater basin that provides reliable, high-quality groundwater to 13 cities, five retail water districts, and one investor-owned utility that serve 2.4 million customers in North and Central Orange County. The total water demands of these 19 agencies is approximately 420,000 acre feet per year. It is a district's mission to provide the cities and retail water districts it serves with a reliable, adequate, high quality water supply at the lowest reasonable cost in an environmentally responsible manner. The Huntington Beach desalination project provides a district in Orange County with a unique opportunity to add the single largest source of new locally controlled and climate resilient water supply available to the county. Today, the district owns and operates the largest indirect potable reuse facility in the world, the Groundwater Replenishment System, or GWRS. Consistent with the vision embodied by the governor's recent executive order to prepare a statewide climate resilient water plan, the district's GWRS represents our commitment to the sustainable use of technology to protect, to protect against the effects of climate change on water resources. The district just started a project to expand the GWRS from 103,000 acre feet per year to 134,000 acre feet per year. Despite local investments like GWRS, approximately 50% of water supplies to meet the countywide water demand currently must be imported from Northern California and the Colorado River. These sources of water can be vulnerable to drought, climate variability, natural disasters, environmental concerns, and regulatory restrictions. The district's two, 2015 groundwater management plan identifies the proposed Huntington Beach desalination project as capable of providing up to 56,000 acre feet per year of new supply. The district's pursuit of new local water supplies, in this case, seawater desalination, is based on policies adopted by the board of directors. In addition to offsetting imported water demand, water from desalination facility could provide flexibility in how the district manages the groundwater basin. Specifically, the desalination, desalinated water could be used to augment supplies we inject into our Talbert seawater barrier to help prevent seawater intrusion into the groundwater basin. Desalinated water also provides a district with the insurance against future climate and regulatory impacts to, San, to the Santa Ana River flows and water quality regulations that could affect the district supplies. The district is closely monitoring and working with this board staff and the Coastal Commission on the final permits for the facility. Discussions and or permit conditions by the regional board or the Coastal Commission could result in new or different project features that increase the cost and affect the facility's water supply reliability benefits. The district is sensitive to cost increases and operating restrictions, which will need to be considered when the board of directors ultimately considers entering into a final water purchase agreement with Poseidon Resources, assuming the regional board and coastal commission ultimately approve the project. Uh, we will be available for questions, and I want to introduce uh, our board's first vice president, Director Kathy Green. Good afternoon, Chairman. Uh, Rue and board members. I'm Kathy Green. I'm the first vice president of the board of directors of the Orange County Water District. We take very seriously our statutory responsibility to manage the groundwater basin and plan for future water supply needs. Future re water supply projections show that OCWD service territory will need over 100,000 acre feet of water, of imported water to meet the water demands. The OCWD has a policy to reduce the need for imported water by constructing new local water supply projects. 
the Poseidon project would cut our need for imported water by about 50%. I appreciate the opportunity to address you today as I and other members of our board have done over several the past several years. Your staff has done an excellent job of overseeing a very inclusive process with ample opportunity for public participation culminating in an amended and renewed tentative order we have been waiting a long time to receive. As Poseidon's prospective public partner and purchaser of the desalinated water, the district is here today to support the tentative order prepared by your staff and urge the board's approval come April, I guess. The district of officials have engaged Governor Newsom's administration regarding the importance of this project, and I want to submit a copy of the April August 8th, 2019 letter to the, from the district to the governor. Because we have participated throughout this process, I'll simply refer to the letter and not restate the myriad of reasons why climate change makes this project a necessity. I do want to highlight, however, the importance of this project to the district. It's is not a new development, it is not without significant consideration and documentation. In fact, in 2010, the district signed a memorandum of understanding with Poseidon for the consideration of the purchase of water from the proposed desalination project. Chairman Rue, as the sole remaining board member from that time period, you will remember I addressed you then on behalf of the district. In 2013, the district Institution. hired... Institution. Right. <laughs> in 2013, the district hired a financial advisor to evaluate the financial feasibility of the district purchasing the full 50 million gallons a day of drinking water to be be produced by the facility. And in 2015, the district's board of directors voted to approve a non-binding water purchase agreement term sheet for the purchase of the 50 million gallons per day of drinking water from the proposed project. The term sheet was, was approved by the board after numerous public hearing meetings review and amendments to the term sheet that were proposed by a 30-member citizen advisory committee. The term sheet was then updated in July of 2018. All this history speaks to the conclusion reached by your staff that the project complies with the California Ocean Plan and specifically meets an identified need for desalinated water. It is the district's mission to provide the cities and retail water district it serves with a reliable, adequate, high quality water supply at the lowest responsible cost in an environmentally responsible manner. The Huntington Beach project meets this test. Uh, President Sarmiento talked about our groundwater replenishment, and as he mentioned, we are in, going into our final uh, phase where we will be going from 100 million gallons a day to 134. We have made progress over the last decade moving away from climate-dependent water supplies, and the desalination plant is the final piece of the puzzle. Seawater desalination is the only source that is 100% climate resilient. San Diego County has blazed the trail with a successful Carlsbad desalination plant. Now it is Orange County's turn. The district respectfully re requests the board support your staff's tentative order and adopt it in April as planned. And next, I would like to introduce Senator Barbara Boxer. Welcome, Senator. I realize we're running a little behind time for you, but we have a no, lot no, of questions. No, no, no. It's, Thank it's, you. it's fine. And greetings to every single one of you. Um, for 40 years, I sat where you sat, <laughs> making decisions. I know it's hard. I know we're split. So it is. 
and it is on your shoulders to do what is right. The last time I addressed you, um, that was two years ago. It feels like even longer. It's been a long and winding road to get to this point. Actually, this all started 13 years ago. But today, I am so pleased that your staff has acted because without doubt, safe, reliable, clean drinking water is a matter of life and death. And that is why the Environmental Protection Agency awarded a low interest loan to Poseidon to move this project forward. Now, I agree there is a human right to water, and I thank you all for voting for that. You said there is a human right to water. And all we have to do is look at the U.S. Drought Monitor. It tells us the longest California drought just ended. It lasted 376 weeks. We all have watched in horror as our state has burned. Now, as I learned when I chaired the Senate Environment Committee, Climate change means a tough, tough future for our state. Let's be clear. We all know that. We all believe that, I think. And if we do not adapt, adapt, that means get ready for the future droughts. Those of us who had the chance to do something but failed to act will be haunted, will be haunted by the impacts and filled with regret. Now, this isn't the first of a kind. We already heard Poseidon has a desal plant, runs it in Carlsbad. Senate pro tem Tony Atkins, who I know many of you admire, calls it a model, a model. And this plant will be 100% carbon neutral and 100% climate resilient. I don't know why people are moaning it's their right, but I'm just giving you what I know to be the truth. I also want to talk about Bolsa Chica. Bolsa Chica. I was there when we saved Bolsa Chica in the 90s. I cannot tell you how excited I am to see that Bolsa Chica is going to be the mitigation. Because the state is running out of money. They need millions of dollars a year. And it's part of this. We only have a few more and seconds, Senator. Thank I will you. finish with this. Social justice. Please note what I say here. For some of us, a drought is nerve-wracking. But the expense of obtaining alternative water, we can do it without a sweat. But for many of our community, it's an economic burden they should not have to bear. So when you say water is a human right, and I know you mean it, then I hope you will agree with your staff and move forward with this badly needed new water source. And thank you so much for the privilege of addressing you. Thank you. Thank you, Senator. And for the public, please try to refrain from comments until it's your turn to speak. Mr. Chairman, I would ask, and I thank you for raising that point. Uh, everyone will have an opportunity to speak, but we hope that everyone will, every speaker will be treated with their due respect and uh, the uh, commentary in the audience uh, when others are speaking is, is just not warranted. And we would appreciate it if it stopped. Thank you.